Hi, everyone. I'm retired meteorologist. However, you wouldn't think so with all these weather reports I've been giving. Anyway, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop, and today is Wednesday, November the 6th. And you, you think November, why should I have to worry about hurricanes and tropical storms? Well, the hurricane season does go through the month of November, and this year I wouldn't be surprised to see some activity developing perhaps in the month of December. So with that being said, we do have hurricane, uh, major hurricane Raphael in the Caribbean Sea right now. The hurricane itself will not be affecting our region here in southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina directly, but indirectly it is shooting up a plume of moisture up into our area and that is affecting our region with a chance for some moderate to heavy rain. So first of all, let's take a look at the maps right now and the um, uh, situation shows the path of the hurricane. At the moment, Hurricane Raphael is just approaching the west central portions of Cuba, the southwestern shores of Cuba right now, and the winds are at uh, 115 miles per hour. That is a category three hurricane, and that's going to greatly affect the western portion of Cuba, actually central Cuba all the way to the tip of Cuba and into portions of the Yucatan Peninsula. But the storm uh, will be moving off to the north west and west uh, over the next several hours and several days, uh, keeping it away from us, moving it into the Gulf of Mexico. And as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, it will encounter some cooler waters, not cold, but cooler waters that will help uh, weaken it somewhat. And then we're also going to see a southwest shear of wind uh, flowing in at mid and upper layers of the atmosphere. And that's going to shunt down the formation of the storm itself. And this is part of the front that's associated with the southwestern shear of winds. And that will cause the hurricane to drop down to uh, below hurricane strength by the end of the period going as into the weekend. But this trough right over here in uh, eastern South Carolina, central South Carolina to central southwestern Georgia, that is providing a funnel for the rains to move upward and the moisture to move upward into our region. Let's take a look at the um, advisories across uh, our areas here. And uh, a flash flood watch uh, is now in effect for a large portion of central Georgia and a bit of east central, excuse me, west central portions of South Carolina. That watch also goes down into the northern tier of the uh, northern Florida. But a flash flood watch, potential for some moderate to heavy rains over very dry soil. You know, you, you would think dry soil, it should be except the rain, but the, the, the soil has hardened somewhat, so that will cause the water to actually run off like it's falling on, well, something like asphalt, not quite as hard as asphalt, but still, uh, it, it caused the water to run off. So a flash flood watch is in effect uh, for moderate heavy rains uh, to flow in and across that region. Most of that's west of Interstate 95 and even west of Highway 301. All right, uh, hurricane warning though, in effect for the Florida Keys and South West coastal areas of Florida. All right, let's take a look at the radar summary from across the southeast. And there you can see precipitation developing across central Georgia into western South Carolina, moving out of Florida, associated with that plume of moisture that's flowing northward into our region. And that's going to continue to funnel that moisture throughout the night and throughout the day for tomorrow. Okay, with that being said, let's take a look at the uh, regional radar from across the area. This is from the uh, Baldasta a radar located at Moody Air Force Base near Valdosta. And there you can see quite a bit of moisture flowing northward into Georgia and South Carolina. And boy, and you know, if you've been outside, you know that this is a tropical air mass. It is quite humid. And the low last night only dropped down to 71 degrees in Savannah. And if it stays above 71 throughout the uh, day up until midnight tonight, that will tie a record for the warmest uh, overnight low temperature for this date, 71 degrees. Uh, normal low for this time of the year, 49. So we're over 20 degrees above normal with the overnight low. And uh, that's also just loaded with moisture. And that hints the rain is just starting to develop moving into the region. And this rain is going to intensify throughout the uh, uh, nighttime hours. There's the storm itself over here in the uh, Northern Caribbean Sea over Western portions of Cuba. And a, the storm itself will not be affecting us, but there you can see the moisture plume flowing up into our region. All right, looking at the um, uh, computer models, uh, this is the uh, uh, high resolution model and uh, showing the storm moving to the northwest and then 
moving more so to the west, and then it moves away from us. So we're not really concerned about hurricane conditions across our area here. But over here, look here right now, uh, this is for uh, late this afternoon at uh, 5 o'clock and then going into, or 4 o'clock, and going into the uh, sunset hours, very heavy rains across the central Savannah River area, uh, down into the southern Savannah River area, across southern portions of South Carolina, and again back into uh, south central portions of Georgia. Very heavy rains anticipated. Uh, this is for uh, 9 o'clock tonight on Wednesday, and then throughout the night, heavy rains continue off and on throughout this region, and then it starts to slowly taper off uh, throughout the day on tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, into the uh, uh, evening hours. And then by Friday, it looks like most of the precipitation will be moving out of the area. Don't be too concerned about this thing over here. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a slight chance for development of this system. However, uh, uh, looking at a wider view of this, uh, it shows uh, that system trying to develop into a tropical depression near the northern portions of Hispaniola uh, into the southern Bahamas. But uh, over time, this is a uh, sunset on Friday uh, going into Saturday. It runs across Cuba and then just gets washed out and absorbed by the leftovers from Raphael. Now, it, it might become Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, but uh, I'm not you know, holding my breath on that one. All right, let's look at what I'm holding my breath on, though, is the precipitation. There is a moderate risk for uh, excessive rainfall across central and uh, southeastern Georgia into uh, southwestern portions of South Carolina throughout the day today, uh, with a moderate risk elsewhere across the, uh, or an enhanced risk elsewhere across uh, all of southeastern Georgia, central Georgia, southwestern Georgia, and a good chunk of um, southwest portion of South Carolina. How much rain? Well, let's take a look. Uh, the uh, forecast rains for our region uh, shows quite a bit of activity uh, expected uh, over and around the Statesboro area, perhaps up to four inches or more of rain in the next 48 hours and a large swath of rain across the central portions of this region where uh, the Weather Prediction Center has this area outlined for the uh, uh, excessive rainfall forecast uh, potential in this region here. Also, looking at a wider view of the rainfall potential, uh, like you see it in our area here in the Gulf of Mexico, of course, that's over water. And another area over here in southwest Oklahoma, uh, southwest Kansas into western Oklahoma and the Texas panhandle into uh, uh, New Mexico and southeast portions of Colorado. There's dealing with some moisture out there as well, but I'm more concerned about this area here. Once again, looking at the forecast for our area, uh, basically um, mostly west of Interstate 95, but you know, looking at the greater Savannah area from Hinesville to Savannah, uh, a little um, uh, area of excessive rainfall could possibly fall in the greater Savannah area as well. Not as much as Statesboro, Metter, and um, uh, Millen would get, but uh, about two inches, maybe a little bit more than two inches. Charleston, about three and a half inches of rain potential uh, out of this system. Let's take a look at the actual precision forecast from the National Weather Service. This is from the National Digital Forecast Data Center, uh, forecast generated by the National Weather Service themselves and not computers, computer enhanced uh, guiding, but the actual uh, values here from the personnel. And it shows in the greater Savannah area, anywhere between two to three and a half inches of rain, uh, almost uh, almost four inches of rain, um, 3.69 in the Bloomingdale area. So yeah, further west you go, the more rain you're gonna be seeing. Um, uh, even at Savannah Airport, over three inches of rain. Uh, my location, Windsor Forest and Coffee Bluff, less than two inches, but still quite a bit, 1.79 total rainfall expected out of this system. Across the uh, interior portions of Georgia, Black Creek, uh, out there by Ellabel and um, Lanier, 5.11 inches of rain potential. That's the forecast. Uh, here's one. Well, look at Metter, 7.35. What about Statesboro? Statesboro uh, looking at, well, 7.44. So, yeah, a considerable amount of rain in the interior portions of the region. In South Carolina, Hilton Head, uh, well, it looks pretty bit heavy there too. Four and a half inches of rain in and around the Hilton Head area, Spanish Wells. Uh, sea Pines, a little less, not much, though, three and a half inches. Uh, back to Bluffton, back over in the inland, uh, mainland, uh, 4.31 inches forecast rain. Uh, Rose Hill as well. And um, 
Uh, what about Hardyville? Um, 389. So yeah, quite a bit of rain uh, in and around there. So OC, I hope you're watching your cars out there in Hardyville. Anyway, uh, in Beaufort, uh, about a little less, uh, not, no, uh, five inches of rain in the Beaufort area. Uh, uh, and Ridgeland, uh, again, five to six inches of rain, Ridgeland, Hampton. So yeah, a lot of rain uh, expected out in those areas. Okay, <sighs> let's take a breather here because it's going to be a wet one. But then the weekend's coming, so let's take a look on my uh, Pat's Weather and Nature page, savannahpat.name. Uh, uh, by the way, I got my thermometer finally fixed. Uh, I had to get a new uh, uh, piece of equipment uh, that blew out during Hurricane uh, Helene. Anyway, uh, the reporting of the data here, but the forecast is calling for rain likely today, of course, and tonight heavy rains possible into uh, Thursday morning, then tapering off Thursday, becoming partly cloudy on Friday. But look at these temperatures over the weekend. They're still going to be in the low 80s with lows in the lower to middle 60s. Normal high for this time of year is around 70, 71 degrees. Normal low is 49. So we're way, way above the normal for this time of the year. And that shows up in my six-week weather outlook uh, for temperatures for this week going into early next week to average much above normal, of course, with much above normal rainfall. Normal rainfall for the week is about, um, the, the web page just updated itself, uh, normal rainfall is only less than an inch uh, in our area, um, almost only just about two-thirds of an inch of rain. I had to look at it in small print. Anyway, uh, continued mild to warm for the next six weeks across our region. And the winter outlook is still looking the same, mild for our portion of the world. Mild and generally dry winter forecast. That, that doesn't mean we're not gonna have any cold weather. It uh, just means overall, we're gonna be averaging above normal temperature wise uh, through the uh, months of December, January, and February. All right, uh, with that being said, uh, stay dry tonight. It's gonna be a, a wet one, particularly west of Interstate 95 and more so west of Highway 301. Uh, moderate to heavy rains, four to six inches, maybe up to eight inches in some locations in a two-day period. Not all at once. That's one good thing about that. It'll be over a, about a two-day period. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.